qualifications to come to this House for a debate on RTE. RTE is required under the Broadcasting Act to be balanced. The fact that these defamatory comments were made on a prime time programme and were left go unchallenged by the presenter okay, this, this is, in my opinion, is in my opinion. Senator Patrick and others will be aware of the hate campaign on Twitter. Senator, moment. are you looking for a debate on this? I'm issue? looking for a debate, but I'm also wanting to condemn the hate mail which is going to an organisation that have recently suffered a very tragic event with the death of one of their senior staff. And members of this House sympathise with the organisation in relation to that. They are now getting emails which are telling people in the organisation to kill themselves. I would ask the senators here who might support that kind of thinking, if they would stand over that. I certainly don't, and I don't think any Democrat should either. I have followed... Question for the leader. Yes, I'm asking the leader if he would agree that the Iona Institute in particular has never, ever uh, had abusive comments, has had any way derogatory remarks, or is any way homophobic. What they do stand for which I share, and which many people in this country share, and I also look forward to the debate in the lead-up to the referendum, that every child in this country is entitled to have a mother and father involved in their rearing and in their development. So and not, any deprivation of that this isn't relevant is an impact the, on the society. Business. It's very relevant. So it's very movie. relevant in view of the fact that RT, as our public broadcaster, failed again, failed once again, to meet the threshold of being balanced in its reporting and in its programming. That's unacceptable. And I'm looking for the Minister to come in and have a debate on it. I'd like to join my colleagues in also expressing sincere sympathy to uh, 